in the last video I was discussing about <clears throat> the acronym ASTC. Uh, A stands for all, S stands for sine, tan and cos. So what does this mean? So everything sine, cos and tan are positive in the first quadrant, sine is positive in the second quadrant, tan is positive in the third. So this acronym stands only for positive. So wherever it's not positive, so sine is positive in the first and the second quadrant. So in the second and the third quadrant, it's uh, negative. So cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. So in the second and the third quadrant, it's negative. Tan is positive in the first and the third quadrant. So in the second and the fourth quadrant, it's negative. So if you remember positive, you can say where it is negative. So let us solve this equation. Y is equal to? Four, uh, four, sorry, 4 cos x is equal to 3. So first I'll divide both sides by 4. If we divide this side by 4, treat this as an equation. Okay. So cos x is uh, this and this gets cancelled is 0 0.75, just like that. Now we write, this is called the principal axis, sorry, principal angle. You should draw a uh, notation like this. This is called a carrot. So, cos, so the principal angle x is cos inverse. I'll explain what it means 0 0.74. Okay, we are working in degrees. So, this I hope my calculator is set in degrees, so that's fine. So, what you do is you shift cos of 0 0.75. We will round this into in to a whole degree okay so this is 41 degrees so yeah 41.4 i'm rounding it to the whole degree so this is 41 so x uh you can say x principal x or the principal angle x is 41 degrees now the question is solve between 0 to 360 so this is positive so where is cos positive Cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. So I'll show you how to find the other angle. So 41 degree is the principal angle, means you have 41 in your first quadrant and 41 in the fourth quadrant. Okay. So 41 in the first, this is say 41 degrees. This is 41 degrees. And this is 41 degrees. So this is 41 degrees but we are interested in the positive angle so we are talking about this angle so this angle in the fourth quadrant there's a formula i don't li like students to remember formula but you if you think about this this is when you're going anti-clockwise is positive so if you go clockwise sorry yeah if you go anti-clockwise it's positive so if you go clockwise this is nothing but minus 41 degrees but we want to write in a positive form this minus 41 is same as 360 minus 41 i'll show you this on a calculator so so the other angle is therefore x is 41 degrees and 360 minus 41 that is this is 9 319 degrees 319 degrees okay so let me check the, show you on a calculator so this is not exact, so let me show you on a graph. Let us draw the graph, cos graph, okay? So delete, so let me type in cos, okay, now, so the equation was, uh, so this is the equation, cos x is equal to 0 0.75. So I can type in cos x, change the scale from zero to 360 and uh, yeah that's fine so we are not looking at this equation we are looking at this equation okay that is cos x is equal to 0 0.75 so let me show it here so and this is a cost graph so my question is when is cos x 0 0.75 you can get g sol and i can i want to find the x value when y is 0 0.75 so the first angle is 0, 41 degrees and if you scroll 
so this is 319 degrees. You can see the symmetry. So in the fourth, fourth quadrant, this is called the principal. So this is called the principal angle. And the other angle is 360 minus this principal angle. So if you scroll this, you can do this on a calculator, but you should know the maths behind how this works. Okay, so these are the two answers, and we have confirmed this on a calculator. Okay, so the next example, one more example. Sine x is equal to, sine x plus 1 is 0 0.45. So let me take 1 from both sides. So treat it as an equation, as a simple equation. If you take away 1 from this side, take away 1 from this side, which is 0 point, negative 0 0.55. So your sine is negative in the second and the, but we'll not treat this, when you're finding the principal angle, you don't treat the negative. You treat only the positive. Okay, I'll explain that. So x is, your principal angle x is sine inverse of 0 0.55. So your x principal angle is calculator, menu, run, so shift sine of 0 0.55. So that is 33 degrees, okay? This is 33 degrees. Your principal angle is 33 degrees. But the sine value that we have, this is our sine, this is the equation that we have, it's not positive, it is negative. So this 33 means you have to draw, say, 33 degrees. Okay, I'll say this is 33 degrees in your second and 33 in your fourth quadrant. If it's not, doesn't look. So this is say 33 degrees in your third quadrant and 33 degrees in the fourth quadrant. So this 33 in your third quadrant is 180 plus 33. Does it make sense? So I'll show you first the principal angle. The principal angle is 33 here somewhere. Okay. So this is this is the reference angle. They also call sometimes this is the reference angle. So this is 33 degree, but we are interested in the negative value because the sign is negative. So negative third for negative 33, it has to be in the second and the third quadrant. So the same 33 degree in the third quadrant, x would be 180 plus 33 because this this much is your 180 degree. I hope you understand. This is 180 degree, but we are interested in this angle. We are interested in this angle. So this much would be 180 plus 33, which is 180 plus 30 is 210, so 213 degree. Okay, and the other x angle would be 360 minus 33. So 360 minus 33. So 360 minus 30 is 330 and 330 minus 3 is 327 degrees. Okay, so let us check this. This is rounded. So let's check the answer. So mm, let's go to graph and type in sine x. Just like that, we have, so this is a sine graph. We want to find where is sine fx negative point five five. So G solve and x calc. X calc. The y value is negative zero point five five. Execute. So this is two one three degrees. Can you see? This is in the third quadrant. And then if you scroll, you'll get three hundred and twenty six point six which is nothing but 327 degrees. See you in the next video.